In this tutorial, we will add both crop marks and bleed to an original with neither. First, we will open an A5 PDF document containing a postcard. In the interest of showing you the original file, I will click the preview button underneath the small internal preview. The image will open in my default PDF application Acrobat Pro. Note that there are no crop marks or no bleed. The original file dimensions are A5 landscape 210mm wide by 148mm high. While you can add both crop marks and bleed in one go, in the interests of making it clear, I will add standard crop marks first. To do this, simply tick the standard marks checkbox. This adds 7.5mm space on each side of the original file together with the crop marks. Next I will click the Impose Artwork button to see the results of this setting. Again the file opens in my default PDF application. And you can clearly see that the 7.5mm white space together with our crop marks has been added on each side of the original artwork. So we will close this document and go back to Pixels Imposed where I tick the Grow Artwork checkbox. This will always grow the artwork in proportion. So unless the original is square, you will have more bleed on two sides. Note the value here will usually be accurate, but you can adjust it up or down to three decimal places in the range from 0 to 50. I will now click Impose Artwork again to see the result of these updated settings. Note that we now have both bleed and crop marks added to the original. However, the 7.5 millimeters white space we added around the original is probably more than we need as we are currently only fitting two up on our SRA3 sheet. There are two ways to adjust this. The first is to change the 7.5mm value down to 3.5mm. An alternative is to enter 4 in the crop settings area. Simply enter 4 in any one field. This value will be automatically entered in each of the four crop settings fields providing the link checkbox is ticked. It is ticked by default. So I will leave the 4mm value in the crop settings area and change the bleed value back to 7.5mm. After making that change, we will click Impose Artwork again. So now, as you can see, we are fitting 4 up on our output sheet. The crop marks and white space are sufficient to enable us to easily trim our job to size. Check out explorepixels.com for additional related videos.